You know, I think about how most people envision business is that there is some sort of quick win or you you have to, you know, it's often sort of weaselly like I guess, um, where people sort of imagine that you have, you know, some way to make money quite quickly. Um you know that there is there's an angle of some sort or you have a man you know like all the sort of basic stories or you have to um get a, get ahead at all costs like all this sort of basic messaging and the way that i see it um and i think this is actually what most people would sort of suggest if they've done it for a long time um, and are doing a good job of it. It's just a long, slow grind out of anything that you pick, right? And it doesn't matter if you look at any particular industry, whether it is trucking, whether it is banking, whether it is um, you know software, whatever. It's this low, slow grind of doing the same thing every single day that actually pays off. And um, there's no real angle in any sort of way, but it's just repetition, doing the same thing, putting the effort in every single day and doing it such that you're almost, um, you know, in a weird way, like puritanical, right? Like all of the things that that are vices, right? If you think of things that are kind of wasteful, um, all of those things take away from where you're going to go. And as you sort of spend on those things, that means you can't do other things. And it's this repetition of doing that, of not choosing those vices, whatever that might be, right? Like a, a fancier, you know, having fancier equipment or whatever, the longer that you withstand and push away um, for a longer time and you do that 10, 20, um, 30, 40 years, then things start really clicking, right? So it's, it's interesting when, um, you know, 10 years is a relatively short period of time to expect decent returns on effort. Um, but, you know, if I was to say 10 years, most people would be like, oh, my gosh, I have to do this one thing, this little tiny thing for 10 years by the time I actually get something from it. Um, and the answer is yes, it is often that way that the effort that you put in is a 10 year commitment by the time you actually get real quality returns from something the rest of it it's all just kind of like yeah you th there's no value that's actually being built no why is that the case i want you to imagine um you know in particularly with 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 business imagine how long it actually takes you to trust somebody or to say eventually you feel like they're part of your family. And to get to that moment, um, it probably takes 10, 20 years by the time that you've developed, other than like if somebody's born into your family, right? Then it's part of your family. But it's, it takes 10 to 20 years by the time that you actually trust somebody with, um, you know, doing the right thing, whatever that right thing is in your particular context. And if you think about that, it actually makes sense that things should take 10 to 20 years of actually showing up and doing the same thing. And anything less than that, you'd be like, nah, I don't think that's actually going to work out. Or I don't think that that's the way that you should be doing things. If you were to look at anybody that has become successful, um, yeah, there might be there might be the odd story where somebody has become vastly successful, but I always want a bit in a very short amount of time, right? Maybe it's 10, 20 years. I always wonder how and what's the story. 
because that's not the norm. And, and, you know, it could be any number of things. You know, luck is the sort of first one, but man, there's, there are people doing not so nice things. Um, and, and that's not what I think the average person does. That's where I want you to think about the average or the median in terms of building, you know, um, success in their life, building wealth, building anything, building a relationship. It's 10, 20, 30, 40 years of consistently getting up and doing the same thing every day um, and doing the right thing every day. And you know what all the right thing is. It's puritanical, right? Like at the end of the day, it's, it's um, you know, basically, you know, not smoking, doing drugs and, and drinking and, and getting up and working, you know, very puritanical way that, you know, that you would think that somebody would actually do in that particular way. Um, you know, being your traditional um, God-fearing Christian, whatever that is, right? Like, and I'm not saying that, but, you know, that sort of story that's imagined where uh, people just get up and they do, do work, hard-earned work, and they just do that repeatedly and not get into all of these extra other things to demonstrate that um, that that you're you're you know doing the stuff that people would like and and understand in the long run, right? Like making wise choices repeatedly for a long time. Um, I sure hope that any success that happens to you is slow, is boring. It doesn't seem like it happens overnight because that's the stuff that you're actually building value that um, will last a long, long, long time, even after you're you're gone, right? Because you're building that pattern um, into society, building that pattern into your family, whatever, right? So that they can see what it actually takes. And there's this sort of longevity that happens from the thing that you created. Um, that's the kind of success that you should be looking for because that's the stuff that actually is the, the success that stays. It's the success that is, is sort of quote unquote proven, right? Of getting up, doing the same thing. But even if you have a corner store, right? You think of like a corner store of, of um, you know, like, like they're not going to make that much money. Actually, there are some corner stores that do well. And the reason is they get up, they do their thing, they make sure everything's neat and tidy. They work really hard. Um, you know, they're courteous. They do all the sort of basic things. They train people, they treat people nicely. And you do that repeatedly, things actually do pay off. That is the one sort of tried and true rule is that if you do that, uh, it doesn't matter what year that you're born and raised in, um, anything like that, you know, if this would have happened 100 years ago, if you would have opened up a general store and you were polite and nice and welcoming um, and you continuously reinvested, I mean, barring the location is an important part, but, you know, if you're in a decent location, things would have worked out for you. It's, it's pretty solid at this point that there's not a lot to this stuff other than doing the same thing all the time, repetition, and working at it. And that's it. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.